spawns. Okay, so damage was done. TP forced very aggressive, trying to get some slows up. Blade Master is revealed. Catches a Storm Bolt. Needs the Inboom Potion very, very soon. Or a Heal Wave. Okay, holds on to that item, not on the mana, as he is full mana. Thinking about taking this fight here in front of the human base. Repositioning, and now goes in. Oh, beautiful clap in the back line. Blade Master taking heavy damage as well, maybe forced into the invul soon. He is. Oh, the AM now getting focused. Oh, can't hide it in this. He has been dispelled. There was no TP anymore. The first hero hits the deck. Get the blade level four. And if it wasn't bad enough already, now look at these crits. 200 plus yeah. will be raining in right here. So many ensnares still left. The MK has one spell left to use. <laughs> Stormbolt on the blade has to be the play. He's handing over the items. Yeah. Plus 37 damage, Blade Master. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous! 237 critical strikes on level 2. 249! <laughs> Put control on the Raiders, by the way, playing it a little uh, Talon esque. But the Blade Master. Stumble! This joins this. Well done, Heal Wave as well. So the cast has been taken care of. Excellent micro by Huck so far. MK has one more clap right now, and there we go. Oh my god, everything is so hurt. Heal wave was just used. He has no healing against this. Speed scroll trying to reposition, walks into this. Oh, level three now. Oh. Level three clap is unlocked, but ends there. It's pretty sick. 62 supply already jumping up immediately. That's the storm bolt that we were waiting for, but no. X Factor Bash, no RNG involved. Oh, another Stormbolt. Should be the Inbolt there. Clap! Yes, a Windwalk. That okay. was right on the edge. And now the Torrents, can they save this fight? Oh, Blade Master, low HP again. The next Stormbolt could be his end. Massive crits coming out as well. Oh, oh. Lots of healing from the Shadow Hunter. Cold of these forward. All the claps, though. All the Raiders dying at the same time. But the Torrents are still standing. They can be resurrected as well, by the way. Yep, that's true. If he has the mana, he can resurrect them. Doesn't go for the raiders. He's plummeting in supply. There is the resurrection. Another one falls. Clap against them. 15 sway so far. Smashing this fight. And this was all due to the focus on the Blade Master early. Because that cost some heal scrolls. And the heal scrolls were bought to counter the clap. But, you know, if they're out of the fight, that doesn't do too much. There's so much resurrection going on. Only one direction for 15 sway. Blade Master on the verge of dying, and that must be it. First hero gone, big damage dealer gone. You can't resurrect him. <laughs> Needs marvelous crits. He just goes for the Archmage once again. He wants to force another TP out of him to drain his gold. But the positioning is so good. There's still Invis. Stormbolt on the radar. He takes out so much card control. Big heal wave Oof. to save this one. 292 crits, we see what's possible here. 300! 300 crit! But there's an invul now, taking quite a bit of damage now himself. Invul on invul, another 300 critical strike. Not AM enough. is revealed, lots of trouble. Getting focused now, Hex could be his end, or a crit has to TP out again. Wow, how early he has to TP out. The HP bar still looks fine, but if it's raining a 300 critical strike, <laughs> what can you do? The Brilliant Aura is not working, by the way. Oh, baiting the commitment on the oh, AM. Wow. Illusion. Smart play. The Blade oh. Master falls for it. Almost forced into his own invul right away. 15 Sway is so good sometimes. He has such great ideas sometimes. Casting Invis on the real Archmage. Having an illusion there so Huck doesn't know it's only one Archmage. Wonderful. Stumble on the Blade once again. And either Blade or Expansion is going to fall. And that's going to be the end. Oh, big crit again. But how to heal with an invul? Full commitment all on this Archmage, but there is Invis again. Yo. Leonidas is back here. Invul over. Who's going to die first? AM or Blade Master? Only one has an invul left. That is the AM. Pops at the perfect time. Blade Master. Once again, could be Stormbolted. MK has it ready. And the oh. idea is Stormbolt. Right click. Blade Master is dead. Try Alchemist, standard choice. We see the classic Keeper Alchemist combo uh, with Acid Bomb, oh. lowering the armor and then going Another for the damage. Another staff. Yeah, staff on the grunt. I think that could be a dead one for sure. Even summons the Treants for reinforcements as well. Nice could block. Go for if he doesn't trust in his entangle. Uh, it should be enough with Acid Bomb and the two Treants if yeah. he does a few body blocks. Uh, what oh, is Shadow oh. going to take? He gets another one. He could go for the surround here. Then he will definitely get yeah. it. 
Alchemist, South, Tree and South. And there's the Huntress. Wonderful play, the Staff of Teleportation leading to two Grunt kills. This is such a heavy blow to the army composition of the Orc early. Might even try oh. to go for the Shadow Hunter now. Hex coming through. We now know the level 1 ability for the second hero. And gets the kill on the Keeper as well. Expertly done. Super cool common collected. The reigning Fight Night champ is leaving nothing to coincidence here. Yeah, and his second attack upgrade is not yet finished. Now it is. So he, fighting now is actually not too bad. But I don't see a protection scroll. I don't see any heal scrolls. Yep. And there are lightning shields available. Kevin is only at 51 food against 57. He's the aggressor, but he's going to be the one that gets hunted. Oh there is a staff of preservation on the bottom. He does use it. He does use it and escapes thanks to the third hero. Great save here. But what is this army worth without the heroes when there is a blade master going rampant? onto the remaining heroes. Nice body blocks, nice and snare, doesn't even need it. Crit after crit, the shop is nearby. Can he transfer an item? Can he TP to safety? The answer is no. And spiral out of control with this Blade Master. The crits are flying in left and right, the army uncontested. And these poor tier one units for Night Elves, they're so feared, they're so strong given the value that they prove. Next to Spiral's base and he's keeping up the sieging momentum. He knows exactly that Spiral wants to pierce him in the back with his units. Blade Master, rampant, furious, tries to focus down that annoying third hero with the aura. If that one is gone, the archers are much less of a threat oh and he gets her out to safety. Oh, he actually had archer shots flying after the blades and uses the crystal orb in order to keep up vision so that maybe those shots would have been lethal. That's actually a really smart play that didn't end up working out because not enough archer Wait. shots were in the air, but super cool. Oh, Alchemist now going down. Yeah, Alchemist is definitely going to fall. He's out of option, has no more protection, but the Blade Master needs to be so careful. If he trades one for one for the first hero, that would be a golden trade. Kevin is chasing the down. Shots. There comes the bottom and gets the last hit with an attack here, trading one for one. The Blade Master, I would reckon, is way more important to the Oryx army than the bottom is for the Night Elves. Oh. He's, he's blocking the way, he's blocking the way, but there's still a dust, but he already took down one Shaman, could try to go for another one. And yep. he's doing blocks on the shadow! Focus fire on the shadow hunter! This is so sick. The way he used his two parts of the army is so big. Shots after shots are coming through. The level five shadow hunter is no more. He gets another kill. These hero attacks, by the way, are ridiculous. Keeper uh, to the fountain. Spiral's gonna try again. It's his only yep. chance. He feels like going for the keeper, but the entangle will stop Blade Master in his tracks. Purge on the blades. Ooh. He gets the two out of seven crits. He goes for the keeper and he gets it, but the blade is in trouble does have double healing available though the fountain is there and the shadow hunter right next to it but the cooldown on the healing weapon might be too big he gets another one and now of course the shadow hunter around numbered out class and outsmart that lightning shield not too bad though but that was the last healing wave he gets the bottom no way jose you can't tell me he's gonna get that no way he's not gonna get the bottom i don't think there's enough damage there's a healing spray stand in the yellow shower you will get healed Potom is totally fine. He's slaughtering these orc units. What a debut for our rookie challenger here. Yeah. Kevin shooting everything down. Kevin is there, but he does not yet have Alchemist 3. Oh, hiding trap. Hiding trap. Hiding indeed. He very doesn't quiet. know that the army is there. <laughs> very, very quiet. The shaman's leading the front line. If he wants to go after them, now is the time. He doesn't know chat. Don't tell him. Oh, there, there we, we go. go, on the shamans. Right on the engage, going for the back line, going for the soft cakes in the back line, trying to go after the shamans, but not, needs to be careful not to take too much free damage from those snakes. Ooh, nice kiting, is. the damage is real, the speed scroll is fantastic to kite a little bit longer, and now all of a sudden the keeper tastes his own medicine and takes a little bit of damage. Invulnerability is here though once again, and Spiral is on the chase. But Kevin yep. cannot afford to lose this battle just like that because if he loses here, he loses the expansion as well. Wisps are reinforcing. Will he get them on the shamans? The shamans are on the left. <laughs> shamans are on the left. He got a couple on the Shadow Hunter, who is now completely Do empty. Doesn't have anything left. The healing spray is coming through in a desperate attempt. Somewhere, archers are still dying, completely out of sync with the rest of his army. And I think Spiral has this under control. No more Night Elven units here. They're all in the red. They're all running. Gets another archer on top. Yeah, all his units are healthy. There's five snakes here. You can have a maximum of six snakes for a short period of time on maximum cooldown. AP gonna get cancelled once again. There's only a single wisp mining in this base. Snakes are tearing the Huntresses apart. Spiral looks like he might be going for that 4-1 victory in this game. Kevin is being pushed to the brink here. Units are falling and he has a trouble to try and get his own yeah. kills in.
he's done somewhere on the map, but hey, Spiral is here to stay. He doesn't even think about running away. His towers are soon to be finished. These snakes are acting as pseudo towers as well, and good luck charging into that one. Hex once again interrupting the healing spray. Man, this Shadow Hunter has been a bane, even goes for 1 1 1, you know. Uh, or does he even no healing wave, I think, because he didn't need it. So it was Hex and Snakes all along. Game is over. GG. Fight night is over, boys. And I gotta say, Ben, Spiral, what a recovery after that first wonky game. He came back so damn